Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. I forgot but, to hit- Subscribe to me on YouTube. <laughs> I forgot to hit the magic button, and I don't like editing VODs off of Twitch in DaVinci. <laughs> so, subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, you didn't, there you go. You didn't miss much. We went to Haima. Uh, we were told we need to save Pietro before we can go to the Tower of Salvation. So, now we're doing this. Whatever it may be. The lake. Lake Umasi. What a nice lake. I wonder what Colette has to say about it. Look at that. Oh, it's... Oh. I, I, I was promised reactions. <laughs> it's a I was unicorn! Promised that... Rain, it's a unicorn! <laughs> yes, but why is it. Wow, there are... so there are still unicorns left on this side. I wonder if we can make contact with it. The unicorn hall? Yes, in order to use Master Boltzmann heal... Boltzmann's healing technique, we need the unicorn horn. But how can we get over there? Can we just swim to it? <laughs> you won't be able to hold your breath that long. It doesn't seem too deep. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you need to have like a conversation with it. Like, hey, buddy, can we have your horn? Kind of hard to do <laughs> that underwater. <laughs> nah, we'll be fine. Anyway. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? There is a way. What? Uh, we could summon Undine, who exists somewhere in this world, to control the water's mana. You, Undine? You, you mean the summon spirit? We don't have anyone who can summon the summon spirits. I... Oh, can she? I haven't oh. formed a pact yet, but if I can form the pact, then I can summon. Now that you mention it, you did say you could use summoning techniques. Are you a summoner? I'm a guardian user, but I can summon too. I'd heard that art of su that art of summoning was lost a very long time ago. Well, it still exists. Anyway, if you're not interested, I'm not going to force you. No, we need the unicorn horn. P please do it, Sheena. Uh, Alright, then let's go to the Seal of Water. Undine should be at that seal. The Thoda Geyser, right? Let's go! This is quite a detour. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lloyd's bad habit. Oh no. A summon spirit. Hmm. I wonder how that pack works. Can't wait to see it. There he goes again. Would you get bored halfway through? Shut up. I'm interested, so I'm excited, okay? It's fine that you're interested. But the problem is the way you get bored with everything. <laughs> shut up. Stop ganging up on me. Stop telling us to shut up. We're talking about your attitude. Shut up, all of you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the Thoda Geyser. Wow. Wow. We could also go back to a number of places. And do new things. No? Okay. Well, if you want to. I don't know what places would be good or not. <laughs> the only mandatory summon spirit is Undine. In this Are area. you saying more? There are definitely more. <laughs> there are definitely more. I okay. usually, in my playthroughs, I was like, as soon as I realized that there was one, I was like, I want them all. And we didn't leave. 
We didn't go uh, to the next main story objective until I had <laughs> all of them. You, the only one you can't get is Luna because we need Asuka, and that's a whole quest and a half, um, oh. which requires things. If you recall, the woman who was like, "I am nothing without Asuka," when we did the the Seal of Light. I I do not. Oh I'm well, sorry. that that's something that happened last week. <laughs> Oh gosh. Go, cut us what? Have I grown stronger? Your sword skills have certainly improved. However, however, you have realized that 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 alone is not enough. Have you not? That's why you felt compelled to ask. What you, what strength you seek, what path you seek, no one but you knows the answers. Yeah, I guess you're right. However, there is undoubtedly still remain even more fighting techniques that you do not know. Continue to fight alongside your comrades and defeat your enemies. You may find your answers along your path. Alright, I'll trust that one day I'll find those answers. And in the meet- Oh, I missed it. <laughs> he oh, spoke too fast. Here. Master. He spoke way too fast. What is when, that? When did Kratos become a teacher? He's softened up. He's at the end of the game, he's gonna go to the school and take over Vane's job. That's the new head cannon. Try to get a technical smash. Yeah, when Sheena is in over-limit mode, she can summon spirits with whom she has a contract. However, by summoning, she immediately loses her over-limit, so be cautious. Oh boy. But she doesn't have one yet. I mean, she has uh. one, but you didn't really like him. <laughs> what? You didn't like, um, Corinne. You didn't like its ability. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wait, I have to talk to Candy. <laughs> but yeah, typically, um, usually, since I would do this one with. Yeah. With Sheena in the party, we would just do the summon spirit fight, or do the, uh, the seal fight, get all the story for that. Leave. Go back in, fight the... <laughs> fight the spirit. Fight the summon spirit, yeah. <laughs> sure. But because we did it in a funky way. Mm-hmm. Well, ta I don't really know if there's, like, an intended way to do anything in this game. It's very open-ended with, like, the order that you can do certain things. Yeah. It, which is nice. Yeah, it's like one of the games where you would eventually do everything. And you'll eventually tell the same story, but it just depends how you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that's still here. Yep, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to get in here otherwise. Also, I'm reminded of something. Sheena needs to be in the party. Also, we ran around as Sheena last stream, so we need to run around as a different person. Who are we running around as? Uh, uh, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I think we have ran around as everybody at least once. Have we run around as Kratos? Ma probably? Sheena afraid of failure. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes, I may fail again. I'll, I'll, I'll be the dog, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, it looks like you- If it looks like you're gonna fail, I'll save ya. Thank you. I didn't know the dog would speak. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Corinne. That was Corinne. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, I missed. Oh, yes. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm very forgetful, apparently. Okay. Light Spirit does not work on Starfish. <laughs> We got kelp. 
from Starfish. <laughs> What's that enemy? It's kind of cute. It's the thing that turns into a roper if we enter a fight with it. Oh no. That thing that is very not pleasant to look at. <laughs> it looked kind of cute. Well, in the overworld form. I would like the shark to... Ah! <laughs> you don't have to fight anything, so I'm not going to. <laughs> the only one we have to fight is Undine! <laughs> oh, that <sorry>, uh, uh, <laughs> Sheena, please, Sheena, please do the pack thing. Okay, I'll do my best. Although, I'm a little scared. What's there to be afraid of? You're just summoning the great spirit of water that might flood everything. <laughs> ah! Whee! There she is! It's a mermaid! You possess the right of the pact. Oh. I am one who is bound to Mythos. What is your name? Mythos? The hero of the Carlon War? Not only was Mythos a swordsman, he had the ability to summon as well? Mythos is a common boy's name. It's not necessarily Mythos the hero. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Undini. Oh right, in this game they pronounce it oh. Undini, not Undine. As things but where's the other eye? I cannot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I am already bound by a pact. I cannot form two packs at the same time. You mean you're packed with that Mythos guy? What am I supposed to do now? They never said anything about this at the Research Institute. Uh... Huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? <laughs> we don't even have any idea where this Mythos person hey, is. Hey, Mythos! Finds the guy. Yeah, can we like borrow your summon spirit of water? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a unicorn horn. <laughs> a summon spirit pact requires a vow. As long as the pact maker upholds that vow, the pact remains valid. That is correct. I know about that. The summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact, and form a new one. It's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow. I'm just gonna have to kill Mythos then! <laughs> yeah, let's hunt him. Let's look for some random guy. Just to... <laughs> and, uh, Oh god, Bane said it was a common, common name. Common name! Well. Yeah, we just <laughs> so, go around murdering we... people with the name Mythos! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is your, is, is your name Mephos? Stab. <laughs> and then run back here. And run back here. <laughs> is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple. But if the previous pact maker is still alive and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. So he has Stop. to be dead. Dead or he broke whatever vow he made. Let's hope he broke it. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact <laughs> with me. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. What? We have to fight? Let it begin. It worked in the Terminator! <laughs> I shall judge your worth. <laughs> Oh, is this a boss? This is! Let's use magic lens! Ready? Spread! Oh, God! Oh, you're probably weak to lightning. Give me a second. Let me mess with my arts real quick to see if I oh. have Thunderblade. I do have Thunderblade. Ready? She's not weak to it, but. Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, oh. Attack! Oh. What the fuck was what? I, I don't know what I did. What did I do? Wait, you did Psy Tempest, not Omega Tempest. That's your your second Tempest form. Because you're Striker. Would you like that Tempest? I, I guess. Is it better than Tempest? <laughs> it's stronger. Whoa. Then sure. I like Omega Tempest more, but... Are you okay? <laughs> oh, she's an overlimit! Ah, okay. ah! You're an overlimit, go! Are you okay? Ah! Don't die! Uh. 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 Oh, that, that's some sound effects. <laughs> yeah, it is! No, no, those, are, those are sound effects. Oh yeah, how loud is the game okay? compared to the two of us chat? Uh, not that bad. That's that. Why? <laughs> well, <laughs> for for people on my side, it may be quieter. Oh, okay, then it's good. We absolutely bullied the shit out of Undini. Oops. <laughs> and we got I a guess. guardian symbol. Now swear your vow. Upon what vow do you form our pact? I guess it's all water under the bridge. It's fine? Okay, good. Right now, at this very moment, Wait. there are people who are suffering. What? I vow to save those people. Oh, wait, what? I forgot that that happens. Shit. Well, I'll switch out. Shh, it's fine. It's fine. Although the it thing crash. that... The thing that usually happens. No, it's that I just, just dawned on me. Ah! It's 2 30. <laughs> no, give me a second. Um, okay. One, one of my chat commands is off? No, it, it is there. What? Oh my god, Stream Elements is struggling. It oh, should have no. triggered. It's fine. I need to check something. Where is Mia? Is it because I put in Meow earlier? <laughs> you broke my chat bot! <laughs> no, no, it's not your fault. <laughs> I guess it's just turned off forever now. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> well, can I switch back? Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> hey, the thing that usually happens didn't happen when I clicked off screen while the game was full screened. Yay. Goblin Ken was alive and well. We used it at the start of the stream. Okay, stream elements just went to die, and I don't I think it's coming back. <laughs> no. I'm so sad. <laughs> that also means my none of my timers are working. Ooh, that's not good. Understood. I pledge my power to you, Sheena. Well, I'm glad Mythos died or either lost his pact. Yeah, he was either a really shitty pact keeper or he's dead. <laughs> I don't know, the pact might have been I'll never eat a baguette again and he accidentally ate a baguette. <laughs> Like an inconsequential pack. <laughs> Why would pack. Undini agree on a pack <laughs> like that? <laughs> I, swear, <laughs> I swear I will never eat this very specific type of bread. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, yeah, that works. <laughs> you yeah, have my sure. power. <laughs> Sheena, you did it. Oh, no voice acting. Wow, congratulations. Wait, what? Wow. Congratulations. Thanks, Colette. She wrote on Sheena's hand. It, oh, oh. I thought she, like, did the speaking... speaking. <laughs> she, she learned telepathy. <laughs> yes. I, mean, I thought, like, like, oh gosh, like, in, before we meet, 
the angel, he like speaks off screen in that kind of the same text. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is kind of telepathy, but not really. I don't know. It's the he's same just, thing. He's just really good at throwing his voice. That's all. <laughs> he can just shout very really loud. His voice travels. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we can finally meet the unicorn. Maybe we can get Colette Hill too. Yeah. Kratos, you have an impressive array of knowledge. I did acquaintance who knew a bit about summon spirits, that's all. I see. And we got the aquamarine. Why is Rain suspicious of Kratos? So He questions him about everything. Text. Adds uh, water attribute to a party member's physical attacks for a time? No. Oh. No! <laughs> no. Never. Um, and now we have the Aquamarine. A gem received from the Summoned Spirit of Water prevents accidents at sea. These do specific things. I don't remember what they do. They increase your resistance oh. to the element tied to it, but you they also do something else. Because I know the there's one that's the pearl is really good because it heals 10% every second or five seconds or something like that. Well, that's Just... broken. <laughs> yeah, it is! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh. Aquamarine. It says prevents accidents at sea. Oh no, that's a bad joke. Hang on. They change your attacking element and your elemental defense. Attack changes your attacks to water element and grants water defect. Uh huh. Oh yeah, and they actually change some techniques too. Like if you use Tiger Blade a whole lot, then equip the lightning element gem. Tiger Blade becomes lightning tiger. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, I'm going to bookmark this. Void Blazing oh. Tempest, 200, Tempest 200 times and be fire elemental. Lightning Thrust, Sonic Thrust 200 times and be lightning elemental. Lightning Tiger, you're tired of like, yeah, I'm saving these. I am 100, 100% 100 saving these. Holy fucking shit, I did not know that this was a thing. Yeah. We both learnt something new. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, lightning, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Lightning, fire. <laughs> Summoner Sheena. Man, you rule Sheena. What are you talking about? Summon spirits, what else? What was it again? You know, all that thou and thy stuff? Uh, yeah. That's so cool, making packs of summon spirits. R really? So, what does it feel like? Hmm, it feels like a great power separate from myself. Comes surging out from inside my body. I, I don't really understand, but it's so cool. I wish I was a summoner. Although, I hated being a summoner. Really? Lore that we'll find out later, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. It's things that we're missing context for, but we now yeah. know her feelings on. Character depth. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Can you follow me down the stairs? No, you can't. Okay. It doesn't have any legs, it can't walk downstairs. <laughs> stairs so just are too roll advanced. Downstairs. Too advanced for the slug yes. creature. Okay, let's get away from the awful sounds of Geyser <laughs> SFX. <laughs> ah. Mm, yes, old sound effects. Hmm. Wanna go back now? Yeah. We have done everything that we need to at Thoda. Oh, poor Vane. Yeah. She's not a fan. 
of Anything. <laughs> crossing the ocean in a bathtub. I, I wouldn't be either, so I understand her. Alright, now. You have two choices. <laughs> Whatever's not Colette dying. <laughs> you want to do as many things before Colette has to do tower stuff? I guess, yes. <laughs> okay! Is that a bad choice? No, not at all. Or, or should we just bite the bullet and do it? I mean, we have to do these all eventually, but doing uh, them now means we don't have to do them later, but doing them later uh, means that they will be easier. Don't get it means we don't have to do them now. <laughs> yeah! That also works. <laughs> <laughs> That was easy. Evil doesn't stand a chance. We got a roll. Bread Machine roll. Machine is quite aggressive. Evil doesn't stand a chance. Ah! I'm not paying attention to the <laughs> screen, it seems. I keep looking at the mini-map. <laughs> Lab Ladybug is dead. <laughs> We've no time for silly games. Yeah, you tell him. We are very, very strong for this area. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, do you want... Do we get the, the other two summon spirits that we can get now, or do we just go for the unit? Uh, uh, let's go for the other two. Okay. Starting off with uh, a not fun one. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I judge my mind. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> we are pretty strong. I still think the hardest boss fight in this part of the story was Kavar because of those stupid little lightning things, but this one's not going to be yeah. easy. It's not going to be Bully Undini in a corner. <laughs> That's for I, sure. I mean, Kavar wasn't that hard at the end. Yeah, once those things are out of the way, Kavar himself is not that difficult. Do. You may want to do something about your TP. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of spammed a lot of abilities in the fight because I was like, oh, these people might be hard. <laughs> but I bet they weren't hard. Alright, I want to look. What do I... Have I... Is anything? No? Despite using no. 155 sonic thrusts? <laughs> <laughs> You need to use 156 to get it. <laughs> I did save, right? Well, I you saved did, again. But... <laughs> oh no, don't don't get hurt again. Right, right, right. This is the one that's easier to Oh, oh, what? Don't get too comfortable. Got a new fight, but it's fine. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't remember the strategy for fighting. The bull. The the summon spirit of wind. That was just I don't remember. Um, I am going to probably remember what I got stabbed, but I guess we had iframes because we were just in a fight. <laughs> Who doesn't love some invincibility frames? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did I open those? I did. Did I open this one? I think I did. I did. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh they're, they're here again. Sheena, we're counting on you with Sylph. <laughs> this is weird, he sounds so serious. All right. Yeah, a moment ago, he was gushing about it. Yeah. I don't think they do 
new voice lines for this one. Okay. Mm. Which one am I supposed to kill first? <laughs> Which one do we hard target? I need to remember. <laughs> I think I'll know as soon as I see them. This is Sylph, by the way. You are a oh. summoner, are you not? Orange one. We, the Sylph, Murder the shit out of the us. orange one first. <laughs> okay. That is your job. <laughs> I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Ah, so the next pact maker's finally here. Hello, Utis. Okay then, we'll test out That your voice power. sounded very familiar. Did it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it might have been just generic. It might not be the orange one. Who has the shield? It is Ferris. Die. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. I, I don't know, her voice sounded familiar, but it might just be like a general voice. Why are we going after her? She can heal. Oh. They're all kind of awful, but. It's good to save self for last. I think. Uh, we can, for sure we, we, we get health. rid of Ferris first. Uh, uh, Rain died. Oh, Rain is dead. Hey, Sheena, can you do something about that? Be <laughs> careful. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we can divide and conquer. It doesn't matter which one you target, so long as that one is dead. Okay. Uh, I am going to heal oh. myself because. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she teleported. No. Ow. We are in a bit of a situation. I thought you said this would be easier. I did not. I said this was going to be harder. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Careful. Okay, 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 okay. I have some, my friend. I'm going to use that to bring you back. Are you okay? Okay. Now I'm going to heal Rain. Be careful. Oh my God, so Seth is low, but um, I got a life bottle, Sheena. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, we are in a bit of a situation. This one's not fun. One of them is down, but there are still two. Ah! Well, actually, I was uh, going to grab that, so thanks. <laughs> this is faster than casting magic. I am going to... No! Rain's down! Oh, that's another one down. We got this! Go, go, go! Okay, and life bottle. Sheena. Are you okay? Oh, hello. Why, why, why was she up there? Oh, yeah, no. she teleports. I do actually think it was... <laughs> okay. Nice. It's definitely Ferris, and then you go after Utis or self ba Selfie based on, like, which one you think is harder. Because they're both annoying, but Ferris is definitely the toughest one because she heals. Yeah. Okay. Basically, for for the bosses that are multiple people, one of them probably can heal, and that's the one that needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the healers. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, my eyes. Wow! He's strong! As soon- I did not remember their names, but as soon as I, I saw the orange one, I was like, That's the one that needs to die! We need to kill that one first! <laughs> <laughs> they lit up in your brain. Like, yes! <laughs> Murder! That one. 
Madakel. <laughs> yes, you shall have what you seek. Now make your vow. Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. Wait, what? Understood. Uh, it's intentionally vague because since you can do this whenever, it would be really bad if she said uh, something more detailed uh -oh. <laughs> in reference to later game stuff. But please keep to your vow. We do not wish to be betrayed again. Oh, betrayed. Okay. We can nab the unicorn horn. Since it's on the way, it'll be faster than going all the way to Triet and then back to Umasi. <laughs> but we got two. Ta da! The opal. I'm gonna want that on. <laughs> well, she's the only one who can do this. She's just got random points in the game where she gets stronger like locations yeah she has wow. the most mystic arts because all of her summon spells except for Corinne are a mystic art because she can only cast them while she is an over limit oh well devs clearly had a favorite <laughs> Yeah. Don't want to get into a fight with the bird. Not the bird. I don't want to get in a fight with oh. that thing either, but I guess we are. <laughs> One-eyed monster. Are you okay? Don't worry, they're weak. See, look how weak and pathetic they are. Yeah. Like, what, what, what is it? It's a vase with, like, a mouth. It is called the melting pot. It's a pot with a mouth. <laughs> it kind of looks like a, a one of those fly trap, like pitcher plant. Oh yeah. Never had it. I I can see it. I can see it. Don't get stopped. No stabbing today. No. Apart from everyone named Mythos. Yeah. Mythos of the Bubba. Whatever they want to be called. Mythos. Just another pact. You really are amazing, the way you can use summon spirits. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. Right, Lloyd? Uh... What do you mean, uh? I'm talking about how cool it is that Sheena can make packs with summon spirits. Uh, yeah, I guess so. What? Last time you were all excited and asked me what it felt like. Yeah, it's just, well, it's the second time now and I've kind of gotten used to it. Oh, brother. You get bored with everything, Lloyd. Yep. <laughs> Poor Sheena. <laughs> She was all she liked... <laughs> yeah. She was all embarrassed because it's like, oh, he was so like enthusiastic, like, oh my god, summon spirits, so cool. She secretly likes him being excited about it, <laughs> and is very up. Oh, that they were trying to block you in for a second. Yeah, they were trying to gang up on me, but noise is too fast. Go noise. Can't keep up. She she secretly likes Lloyd being excited about it. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone all the way to Asgard, I'll admit, but I did want to sleep. <laughs> we are in a bit of a state, and while we are not going to immediately run up into the jaws of the fire, oh, the other angels can talk. Why is it just Colette that wound up like this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're always talking like you know everything. Don't you even know of a way to save Colette? It may be that the Chosen's role is to save the world in exchange for giving up her humanity. What? How can you talk like that? 
How can you be so cold? Just what is it you want me to do? Rain, it's not that I care about Colette any less than you do. But if she doesn't become an angel, the world will be destroyed. What about you? Didn't you come here to kill Colette in order to save Tetheala? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It seems I got a little excited. So it's painful for you, too. The one suffering the most is Colette herself. I wouldn't say excited was the right word. I mean, yeah, that's... It's not wrong, but it's, it's not, not wrong, It's but... not the go-to word. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we also need to restock oh, no. our items. I knew it, Colette was dying. She is gonna lose her feelings. Okay. Oh, I need to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My headphones almost flew off. <laughs> A violent sneeze. Chucks them across the room. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Ah. Oh gosh, I've seen your model where it like snapped its neck. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we going? We're back to Masi. We're gonna get the unicorn horn. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Go on, Sheena. I'm done. 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 i am not gonna work. Thank you, Jumpy. <laughs> I'm tearing up because of the sneezes. Oh no. Oh, why not? The unicorn can only be approached by a pure maiden. <laughs> At the very least, Lloyd, Genus, and I are out. What are you talking about, Kratos? You could totally pass for a fair maiden. And he just looks <laughs> <laughs> like very unamused, like. I disagree with that. It Stick doesn't have anything to do with my gender, but I mean, I'm a mercenary. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily call myself pure. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so many females can go? So then, just rain and I'll pass. But I don't know what we're going to do. We can't send Colette alone while she's like this. Ah. Hey, are you saying I'm not qualified? 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 You don't have to both say it at once. Then we shall send Colette and Sheena. Why can't the professor go? Oh, Lloyd, you're innocent. Because I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lloyd. Oh, dear, Lloyd. Okay, then. I'm going to summon now. <laughs> oh, dear, Lloyd. <laughs> I call upon the Maiden of the Mist. I summon thee. Come, Undini. Your screen just went black. Did it? Is it just my stream view? It looks fine to me. Oh, my stream preview of your stream for us. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> Please, Undini. Take us to the unicorn. As you wish, to the lake. Does she have no legs? Or was that just a weird angle? She doesn't have oh. legs. The unicorn came to us. <laughs> Look oh, at okay. us slide oh, okay. across the lake. You want to be the unicorn? Maratel. 
Martel? You mean the goddess Martel? No, no. You are Colette, and the one beside you is called Sheena. Look at the leaf textures floating above the log in the water. Oh no! <laughs> Just wanted oh, to point I mean, that like, out. Look at look at the background. Look how like. Look at the background, and look how detailed the unicorn's eyes are. It's very detailed. Why is it so detailed? Because it is. <laughs> you can hear <laughs> Colette's voice. Also, look at how massive it is. Oh my gosh. Um, mm, I'd say that's normal horse size. This is true. Okay, that's, uh, that's a bigger horse size, but <laughs> still. Yes, but you are not Martel. This presence, this manner, and this sickness. Even in my blindness, it is clear you are Martel. Oh, the horse is blind. I'm sorry, the oh. unicorn. It's not a horse, it's a unicorn. No, it's not the horse. <laughs> How rude of you. How rude. No, I'm sorry. I exist to save the awakened Martel from her sickness. To cure the sickness you have. Unicorn is a type of horse. Okay. <laughs> I'll... Sure. I don't know if that's how it works in there. I mean, in like, some gently. more, like, artwork, it's more like the unicorn it looks kind of more like a goat, really. Oh, no. Then, please, save Colette. The horn of a unicorn has that kind of power, right? You are here, not for yourself, but to save a human with whom you have made a promise? So that's it, you're the chosen, you're the chosen of each generation. Take it. What a helpful unicorn. Oh, well now it's a horse. <laughs> Acquired unicorn horn. It's also dead. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's wrong? No! Oh, oh no! <laughs> our horns are our very lives. My destiny is now fulfilled. Do not be troubled, a new life will be born from me. And when a new life ends, yet another will be born. In doing so, we live on forever. Okay. No! The best character in the game died. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, no! Okay. <laughs> She, she has not taken it well. No, she's not. Uh, are you two alright? Sheena, are you crying? The unicorn gave us his horn. I see. Then the unicorn is dead. You knew? <laughs> when a unicorn loses its horn, it dies. By dying, a new unicorn is born. That's why the unicorn is the symbol of death and rebirth. Is that not a phoenix? Um, unicorn and phoenix are very similar. They're sourced in different areas of lore, but what what just happened is like actually the lore of the unicorn. It hence oh. hence why it's used as a tool for healing and like medicine and things like that because it is It can, it it can like bring that. back the dead, basically. Did you know the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn? I did. Oh, well then that's not fun. A <laughs> 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 new unicorn will be born? Yes, I'm sure one has been. The unicorn gave us this horn at the cost of his life. We must make good use of it. Yeah, Colette. Now we might be able to get you back to normal. 
No. Why? I still haven't finished regenerating the world. So please use this for Pietro and Clara. But Colette. All right, if, uh, if that's what you want. Professor here. Yes! Oh. Ah! Oh. oh. This is very important. <laughs> yeah. It seems I've acquired some new healing arts thanks to this horn. Now we can save Clara. Yes, with this unicorn horn and Boltzmann's book, I'm sure we can save her this time. Where is this Clara person? Clara? I don't remember. Clara, Clara. We just have to look for her. She's sort of been turned into a monster. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we can do is analyze her previous actions and search for her. Yeah. Wait just a little longer, Colette. I promise we'll fulfill your wish. Alright! Yeah, bear the detour, but hey. It's worth it, I think. Can, can awesome. you just ignore missions in this game, or...? You yeah. can. Some of them. We needed the unicorn horn no matter what. But stuff ah, like okay. the Spiritua statue to give to... that guy? In exchange that to look guy. for the book, that isn't necessary to do at all. You just uh, wind up doing it if you've started it. If you go inside his house, it starts, and after that it kind of auto-completes. But if you never go in his house, you could do all of all of it. Get the Hakanesia Peak Pass. Because the thing is, is I because when I went to Thoda, I would have Sheena, I'd have started the Spirit to a statue, and I'd have done all the other seals before the four before Thoda. Thoda would be the fourth seal. Yeah. So I would just do that all at once. Martel's a goddess, uh, right? That's what they call her. Do goddesses get sick too? I guess they do. That's silly. But look, if you think about how Colette became an angel, humans and angels can't be all that different. And angels serve Martel. Hmm, I guess. I still think it sounds kind of strange for a goddess to catch a cold. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> she is very critical. In a, in a way. She's not super into the world regeneration. You'll kind no. of see why. I mean, she came over here to stop it because her world is flourishing. But Colette is also such a wonderful person. Charmed her. Yes. <laughs> I think you you kind of you'll start to see why Sheena was like when she the reason why she accepted this mission and to come over here and was willing to kill a person. She had certain expectations going into Silverant mm. that were not Met. Also, I just realized this is in the direction of Haima, and we want to get a free, correct? Yes. Uh, like, oh gosh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, imagine if she came like now, where Colette wasn't talking. Yeah, that would have... <laughs> she... That would have sucked. Yeah. I mean, unless everyone else explained it for her, like, Colette can't talk. I don't know, would you trust it? I wouldn't trust it if I was she. <laughs> trust me, the person we're protecting that you want to kill is actually a very nice person, she just can't say anything. She's wonderful to a fault. So incredibly dumb but kind hearted. <laughs> look, look at this, look at this hole in the wall she did, haha. <laughs> she tripped. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen any more of her tripping. Where's the tripping gone? <laughs> I guess when you get rings, you trip less. When you get serious. <laughs> she... 
I think she's tripped a total of like six or seven times now. Yeah, but she hasn't tripped in a while, that's my thing. She needs more tripping action. <laughs> this is so out of the way, but I love how you can just do this. You're like, I want I want all the summon spirits. I'm going to go back to tree it. <laughs> Don't even bother with special moves. These guys are gonna die immediately. <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, they did nine damage to me. Time to fly! Sheena oh wants in on this goddess racket for her unicorn allergies. <laughs> I we almost got into a fight. Did you fulfill that hydrate request, by the way? I I did. Okay, I just oh, wanted I was... to be sure. <laughs> sorry, did I not say it? I don't think you said a word. <laughs> I mustn't have said it. I'm sorry. Yes, I did. I saw it and I drank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's like. Thank you, Jester. <laughs> And at, and if you did, you you You're got thanked no twice. <laughs> yeah. Rain, you don't need to cast photon. <laughs> Was that a bit too much? She wants to. <laughs> She's embarrassed about crying about the unicorn, so she used allergies as an excuse. Not much of a specimen. Wow. Ah. You're like so a... strong. Doesn't it feel good to go back to an old area and have the enemies only do one to five damage to you? <laughs> Feels so good. I do wish there was a faster way. I, I think hey, I can hit we... this switch, but I, I don't think we can jump down. You can just can, wait, 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 wait. Can we go to Sheena and then interact with it? Would that do anything? <laughs> <laughs> the nightmares are coming back to me. I've oh never no! Never done that before. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh no. All right, on our way to the Triet Ruins. Have you never done that before? I <laughs> no. <laughs> My first playthrough, I went all the way back for a friend. Uh, but I think actually for the sake of, because there's a way to get to Triet Ruins or just anywhere way faster later on in the game. I was mm. like, oh, we can hold off on a friend, but we don't. We're not. Let's go get him. Let's make Sheena more powerful. Why don't we? <laughs> yeah. Let's make her super powerful than Bencher. I don't think there are any titles that switch to characters whose costumes are damaged or destroyed. I know because if you wear if you wear custom costumes from side quests and their clothes get dirty or destroyed, the model will swap with the default outfit that is dirty or destroyed because they don't have one for uh. any of the others. I know this mm. because I put Colette in a PS3 exclusive costume where she dressed up as Rita from Tales of Vesperia and uh she got a bit of damage on one of her costumes once, and whoop, back to the white. <laughs> wow. Who was this one again? I've missed it. This is Ifrit, or Ifrit. Uh, I don't know which the one. The fire that... one. Yeah. That's the one I knew from like other things. I didn't know the other two. From other things. You who possess the right of the pact. I am one who was bound to Mythos. Yeah, she Sheena has a couple of outfits or cutscenes where her clothes get dirty. 
when she fell in the pit and came out from the side of the Osa Trail after falling into the pit was one such scene, yes. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Ifrit. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos. Ifrit. Yeah, they, they pronounce it Ifrit. Or Ifrit. I shall test they spell it weird as well. Mm hmm. It's a, just a potential spelling. I, I've only seen it as IF. Not EF. I wonder if he's weak to water or ice. Is he weak to photon, though? <laughs> Will he be tougher than Sylph? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Will he blend? Oh no, well, well, well that seems dangerous. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> One HP. Sheena, no! Don't die! <laughs> oh, he's targeting me. Oh, he's targeting me! <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 I'll take it! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when I was able to learn that, but I'll take it! Are you uh. Sheena got juggled there. And look, it's oh, no. AoE, so Sheena got healed a little bit too! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> nice. Fuck yeah. Stand a chance. Yeah, take that, E freak the evil. <laughs> yeah, you're super evil. Your power is admirable. Very well. Speak your vow. Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. I you ask said that before. To grant me thy power. I bestow upon you my raging inferno. Yeah. Oh, it was a glitch. Oh, I, can't, I, I had no idea what you were talking about at first, Jumpy. Yeah, no, there are no titles that just that will grant them dirty so cool, or damaged Sheena. outfits. But I suppose it is a it is a glitch. I was not aware it was a glitch. Man, I wish I could conjure someone's spirits too. He's Loved enamored again. About it. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't the second time. What happened? And say cool things like burn to <laughs> oblivion. No boy. He's more likely to end up setting one of us on fire. Consistence. Okay. We got the garnet. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah, I just realized I could put the aquamarine on one of us because I'm betting he was weak to water. Shit. Oh. Well. Uh, how do we how do we build Sheena's over limit? Um, it happens oh. naturally. I know uh. you do this thing called uh, in a new in new game plus. There's a thing called increased tension, which causes over limit to proc more frequently. So that's kind of like uh, the tension gauge is not visible, but when the player's icon kind of flashes a little bit, that's when you're getting close mm. to overlimit. Yeah, I didn't want yeah. this one to go away, so I started it. I'm sorry. Really? I don't think I'm any different than I have been. Is it because you found new friends? <laughs> they aren't my friends. You're my only friend, Corinne. It's okay. You don't have to pretend. I feel a little lonely, but I'm happy you made new friends. Corinne, thank you. Oh my god, I just realized there's a title that we have to get. But yeah. the only way to do it is to sit in a town for who knows how long. It just got hotter. Wow. Ha 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 ha. It's so hot. Yes, it is. If you're completely focused on the battle, you'll naturally forget the temperature. So that's impossible. Maybe I'll make some ice. 
Then I'll call Undini and have her make some water. Oh, honestly, stop using mana for stupid reasons. Ah, getting mad made me even hotter. <laughs> Oh no. It came running overnight. No, I there was, like, I've gotten it, like, once or twice. Sometimes it pulls Don't up immediately, and sometimes it takes an eternity. I'm in overlimit. Hello. Oh. <gasps> oh? Yes! 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 Oh my uh, fucking no. god! <laughs> why, why was there just random people everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh, nurse does. It summons nurses. It just nurses. summons people. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we've just pulled random civilians. But yeah, she's learning the big AoE healing now that she's got the unicorn horn. She, she, she just pulls random civilians who are probably going about their day. They just summon into this battle and then just run away. And they heal everybody for a lot. And it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I guess I'll... I, I, I question the ethics, but sure. Nice. I managed to outmaneuver them without having to go around this rock. <laughs> Good movement. Yeah. Alright, we've gotten all the summon spirits that we can obtain right now. We need to do a bit more in order to get... Uh, we need to do a bunch of stuff that we are not allowed to do yet for Luna oh. and Aska, so... Cannot get the summon spirit of light. But that's fine. There's a there's an order to these things. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got the cute fight. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm. I love the fact that I learned healing when. Mm. <laughs> I have better healing now. You are happy. And Rain has much better healing now. She can bring people back from the dead. <laughs> oh. No more, no cake. more spamming <laughs> items. Yeah. <laughs> we technically could have gotten the unicorn horn before fighting, um, Sylph. <laughs> so she yeah. have that, but <laughs> it was faster to just go s to what was closer. Necrain Mancer. <laughs> Photon. Oh. Nice. This is getting started. Just getting started. Fuck, I'm <laughs> sorry they don't. Oh my god. You're in real world. You are so good at dodging. Oh my god, 625 damage. We nearly have 2,000 HP. It's fabulous. Lloyd is buff. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Buffer than Crafted. Wow. Yeah, we are very strong. <laughs> I mean, this is like... One of the starter ones. Yeah. This is very close to the start of the game. Oh, I forgot that Dodo was an enemy. <laughs> the axe beak? <laughs> yes. A staple, I saw it. I, uh, staple yeah. enemy in the series. <laughs> I saw it and I just didn't register it as an enemy. <laughs> Maybe right. that's rude. Hey. Now we are back on Noish, and we will make our way across that bridge over to Haima, where we will heal Pietro. Uh. Huh? Ah. Hmm. I don't know if... Do you want to do something that'll spend a lot of money and not really give us anything in return immediately? Explain. You know that town that got destroyed? Yeah. You can put money in for the restoration project. And uh, once we have certain amounts, 
we can go over and give them the money and it'll and it'll start to slowly be repaired. But you it said takes we were a bit tight on money out, aren't we? Or Yeah, just a little bit. And I guess maybe not. It depends. I'd have to check to see what the uh what the first threshold is. Hmm. I don't, sure. I don't want to be mean or anything, but what? They might, they, 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 if we don't have the money, then I, <laughs> we can't really donate. We need seventeen thousand. That sounds like a lot. Is it a lot? We have 19,000. <laughs> no. But, but we haven't bought everything yet. Ah. Are you trying to get us to not restore Lewin? <laughs> Should we go and restore, Le restore it then? <laughs> We found it. I'm going to try it now, all right? Yes, please. Resurrection. Bring this man back from the abyss. Wow. Wow. He woke up, thank goodness. Sophia, then, uh, then I reached Hima. Yes, what? Pietro. Sheena, she saved you. Yes, I remember. After leaving Lewin, I was attacked by the designs. Then she... Thank you so much. Ah, don't mention it. And besides, the reason you regained consciousness is because of Rain here. If you're going to thank someone, thank her. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. How can I wait the Chosen? The Chosen? What do you mean? The reason I broke out the ranch was because I have something I need to tell the Chosen. If you're looking for the Chosen, she's right here. What? You're the Chosen? Goddess Martel, thank you. Goddess, huh? Man. The designs are trying to revive something called the uh, Angel Angelus. I. Oh gosh, my brain can't wrap my head around that. Angelus, I believe. Angelus. Angelus and. I don't know. Angelus Project. They're also developing a weapon called the Man Mana Cannon. Mana Cannon? Do you mean Thor's hammer from the Ancient War? I don't know the details. They are using things called x spheres in these sinister experiments. And please stop this Angelus project with the power of the Chosen and save us all. Relax. We defeated Kavar and we rescued the people who were held captive. It's because of that jewel you had. Is that true? I knew we could count on the Chosen. I was about to say, didn't we know this before? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm concerned about the mana cannon. Yeah, but we won't get anywhere pondering it here. Could this technique be used to save Clara as well? Yes, I'm sure we'll be able to save that poor woman. When we have the time. <laughs> nice. Alright, so... Town or tower? Town. <laughs> town? Town. Town. Let's go pay them. Oh no. By the way, how are we going to get to the Tower of Salvation? We have to cross the mountains. The man's dragons. Oh, I know. What is it? 
The dragon tour guy! <laughs> we'll ask him to lend some of his dragons. Dragons should be able to get... to go to the Tower of Salvation. I see. That's a good idea. Okay, let's go. Except I'm leaving town. Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that dragon guy would be helpful. Ah. <laughs> um. This is gonna be a piece of cake. You have nearly 2,000 HP. I hope you know that. Yes, I I am tanky. That's it. This is getting started. I'm, I'm we are the front so line. strong. <laughs> Am I supposed to be this strong? Considering all the traveling we've been doing, and the fact that we're doing some stuff that we didn't have to do immediately... Maybe... not? <laughs> Whoops. It's not gonna make the game too easy, is it? Can I get I mean, we still have to revive every time, so... <laughs> we've been spamming revive, so I don't think the game's that easy. So who do we pay? He is on the other side. Luckily, we can get to the other side. Yeah. Wait. Where the fuck? He's supposed to be here. <laughs> He's dead. Could it be he's not available yet? Oh, I missed a step. We'll just skip it. I'm tired. I don't uh, want to do it. more. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. I was supposed uh, to talk to him twice. <laughs> oh. I was supposed to talk to him in Haima before doing this, so we'll just do it later. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is that you don't want to help the homeless. Stop! Yeah. <laughs> Even with Noish making it faster, this is still slow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it later. Quick, run away! They won't know. <laughs> Hide your face. <laughs> uh, so, are we going to the tower to collect now? Yeah, we're doing Colette stuff. It, something's big's gonna happen, isn't it? One right after another. Who knows? Uh, should we take a break before that happens? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it wouldn't be a I bad feel... time for one. Because <laughs> I, f I, I have a sneaking suspicion we're gonna be locked into a cutscene for a bit. <laughs> Is that a yes? Can we talk okay. to Pietro, please? I want to get him. <laughs> All right, you. Yeah, Lewin, you, you. Uh huh. You intend to travel to Lewin? Okay, cool. Oh, is that? Oh, well, he's no, he's still there. But yeah, no. Once now, when we go to Lewin, he will be there. Uh, oh, oh, that was it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I oh, needed no. to talk to him. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Taking we'll... a break. Yes, break. Breaks are being taken. Here's hoping that nothing goes awry. Nothing went awry last oh. time. When I clicked off screen. It's a bit early, screen... I know, but yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we're, everyone's about to, like, die or something. <laughs> something bad will happen. I'm sure. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take a break here. I'm gonna play ads in the meantime. But, uh, yeah. We will return shortly. He hasn't done music. So I'm gonna keep whispering though, even though it's making me smile, and it's really hard not to laugh. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> Although. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, 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 I'll stop. Actually, wait. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Give me a second. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Uh, my I unmuted myself and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a bit where I whisper," and then it just I realized my Discord said "awaiting endpoint" and I clicked on what that meant and it was like, "You are having connection issues. There may be a server or server outage." And I was like, "Oh." So uh -oh. when I started talking normally. It wasn't picking up, so it was like, oh, we're not connected in the call anymore. So I hung um, up and, and got back in. And that seems yeah, to have... Yeah, I saw, I saw seems... your profile disappear. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, he can't hear me. <laughs> this is not good. Hey, okay. Ah. Anyway, do you want to do your bit? Hang on, I'll mute again. Is no, 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 I already did my bit. I already did my bit and Chad has told me to stop. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I whispered into the mic thinking that Discord wasn't picking it up and it wasn't just like a connection issue. It I don't still know. isn't picking up. <laughs> <laughs> but I have nice. chocolate. <laughs> I, oh, I'm boring. I, I've got a tangerine. <laughs> well, it's healthier. Oh, oh. Uh, do you guys have chocolate oranges over there? Oh, you mean the thing that you like, you smash with your hand and it splits apart? Yeah. Wait. Yes, not specifically in my state, but in the country. Yes, I've seen them well, out of it's state. It's a brand, but yes. Yeah. They're so nice. <laughs> hey, you live in a decently hot part, don't you? Mm-hmm. The chocolate just melt. Mm-hmm. I'm done. So we don't have it. Among other things. I mean, it's like, oh. we don't have whatchamacallits, which is a, a brand that's known in other states that people are like, oh yeah, these are really awesome. They're like, peanut butter with actual peanuts in them and other stuff, like caramel. And I'm like, cool, it sounds like a take five. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know I, I what don't... what you call it is, but uh, I have I, those. I, I do not. Everybody knows what take fives are now because Reese's bought them out, and now it's Reese's take five. Is is it weird? Like here, Reese's like you wouldn't know. Like that's not a brand here. Oh. Like okay, there is Reese's pieces here, but it's like such a small part. Like you wouldn't know. Them. Hmm. Here, here it's mostly Cadbury. I'm familiar with Cadbury. They are a very unpopular candy in at any other time of the year except for Easter, because that's when the Cadbury eggs come out, and then Cadbury is everywhere. Ah, uh, Ca Cadbury's like the biggest chocolate thing here. Yeah, you don't usually see Cadbury unless you're in like a world market. Or mm. it's Easter. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's the Cadbury oh, but... Cadbury cream filled eggs. Dude, oh oh yes, uh, cream eggs. Yeah. Uh uh uh. I also have oh, that contest that... every year where they're like, put bunny ears on your pet, and that may be the Cadbury bunny for that year. Oh, that's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think last right. year, I don't know who won last year actually, because sometimes it'll be like an exotic pet. Like I think one year it was a lizard. Oh. Uh, I mean it's unique at least. That that is the same cream egg, right? Uh, yeah, Cadbury Bunny contest. Annie Rose the dog. It was the 2022 Cadbury Clucking Bunny commercial. 
It's an English doodle from Ohio. Ah. It's usually it's usually a dog. One year it was a, it was a tree frog. So they just pick like a weird pet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Annie Rose, the therapy dog. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So I'm I'm just looking up like brand specific to this location to where I am. Uh, do, do, you have, do, you, do you have a brand called Galaxy? Uh, I'm familiar with it, but they're not really sold in stores. I'm assuming it's something akin to, like, Milky Ways, where they've got caramel in them? No. Well, um, uh, some of them do. Because I know Snickers and Milky Way are the caramel-filled ones. You got the, the peanut-filled ones. I know Nestle has a bunch of candy mm. brands, because there's, like, Crunch, and then, like, Hershey's also has a few, because they have stuff like Crackle, or like, the one with the peanuts in it. And there's, like, this Hershey's truffle thing, where it's, like, a big, like, little brick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got, like, a fudgy center. Oh, I, I know what you mean, but we don't call them that. No, they're not Hershey's, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, Baby might be. Are also a. There, there's something. I think they're called something kisses. Yeah, we have kisses as well. That's also her cheese brand. You guys have more teasers? Hmm. Surely. Surely not, you must have more teasers. Not that I've seen. My candy, like, collection of, like, knowledge is very limited because I like all the weird organic shit. Like, uh, the chocolate that I'm eating is called chocolate. XOXOX. And then there's also, like, Tony's Chocoloni. <laughs> oh, what now? Uh, let me look it up. It's actually a really cool brand. I know it's gonna freak out because I'm in full screen mode, but it's fine. I'll show chat, too. Wow. Tony's Chocolate Only. Let me look up an image. Here's all oh, the... No, it's just, yeah. Here's all the... everything. There's open image and new tab. There's I'm watching your stream, so... Okay. There. Yeah. It's like... What is the whole thing? Yeah, a hundred percent. What's it called? It's just chocolate. It's there's like a specific thing to it. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, hundred percent slave free. So it's made, it's made out of overseas and stuff. But it's like, yeah, they make it a point to not buy from people who, or like to not work with people who are. Who do the the bad things? <laughs> yeah, like oh, that that's called a fair trade here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, to be fair, most big companies here do it, but it's just like some products have like the fair trade logo, which is like oh, we pay people good prices for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of paying slaves, nothing. And then there's, like, weird chocolate. Like, have you ever had ruby chocolate? Hang on. Ruby chocolate? No, I haven't. It looks interesting, though. Mm hmm It's not as sweet. It's a little tart. It, it looks like it'll be, like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like... It's this artificially made cocoa bean or cacao. That's a ruby cacao. And it's kind of mm. got like this almost, no, maybe not sour, but it's like, it, it's like the only thing you could describe it as being. After development since 2004. Yeah, it's like, they're very proud of it. <laughs> 
gosh. I think it's pretty good. Because I'm not usually a fan of, like, bitter, so I don't like the really high percentage dark chocolate. Yeah. Even though there are, oh, like, yeah, yeah. there are brands that offer it. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate dark chocolate. I'll eat it, but I won't go over 70%. I, I don't know what my cutoff point is. I, I I stick to either white or milk. Personally. Milk is about 30, 33%. Yeah, that, yeah, okay. I, 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 I'm I fine with milk, but I much prefer... I like white chocolate, so... <laughs> I also like... Cho there's one chocolate bar here, which is like... It's normal chocolate, but they also put popping candy in it. Ah. It's so nice. <laughs> I'll have it everywhere. I don't know, it's, it's just so weird, like, even though it, everything's, like, kind of the same, it's, like, something so simple as chocolate can just be so different. Yeah. Although, I've heard many things about how American chocolate is disgusting. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've tried the American chocolate, it's just so bland. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't disagree. I do think that, like, like we, we, there are like Toblerones, which is the, the Swiss chocolate or whatever, with the nougat yeah. in it, and it's like, that's really freaking good. Or the... Nougat? Are we, nougat, we yeah. We pronounce here as nougat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just pronouncing right. it wrong. It might be right for you, but... <laughs> I don't know, but that might be the that might be your way to pronounce it. And then there's like this brand that's at World Market called Milka. And I, I think it's Dutch it chocolate. Let me actually look that Dutch up too. Dutch chocolate? Yeah. The Belgians yeah. you want. Chocolate. <laughs> what is uh. it? I, I always remember. Country. It's German. Hey. German. Oh, that that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> you can only order online in Asia, Europe, and South America. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh gosh, I, I'll always remember. Like, there's this one Simpsons episode where they go to the UK. And they have some chocolate, and they just get on like a super hot, super high sugar rush because of how sweet our chocolate is <laughs> compared to America. Because uh... yeah, our, our chocolate's like super sweet. Oh okay, yeah, here, here, here's the web page, their website. Are you linking it to me, or are no? You I've got it on the stream. The stream. Okay. <laughs> Wow, how- look at that. Look at that, uh, design. <laughs> yes, look one at line. this. To, Whoa, to, there's like, like no big, information. <laughs> big picture, one line. <laughs> <laughs> this is modern- this is modern website design. This is graphic design. Mm -hmm. It is pretty good, though. It's really good. <laughs> I like it. It does look familiar, but it might just be because it's purple. <laughs> yeah. And, and purple's uh, the Cadbury colour, so... Purple is a really wonderful colour. Yeah. And then there's anyway, like... Tails. Oh, I... yeah, of course. Right, right, right. <laughs> After you finish your chocolate. <laughs> that was evil. That was an evil laugh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. I remembered that I wanted to look at our... at the store. We need to buy more than <laughs> Okay, let me look at customization first. Uh -huh. Nimble rapier. I have everything but the rapier for that. She has the stinger ring. She has the ruby wand. I like an armored helm. I don't have the black silver. Okay. Do you have the rapier equipped? Uh, no, not on me, no. Oh, you mean in game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy you the Sinclair. 
I don't need oh, tartan ribbons. Have. I thought you wanted to donate them. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> the, the game forced me to talk to a guy two times before I could donate. I'll never donate again. <laughs> How dare they. Oh, she already had a moon robe. Shit. Ah, we'll hang on to it. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. It wouldn't hurt. Do we need Colette mm. in the party for this I next don't, fight? I don't think so. We are going to spend the... N well, actually, no, we're not. Why would are I spend... Are you saying no because she's going to die? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to die. She's gonna die, Z. Rocky. Okay. Z, I'm scared. <laughs> You're okay. I it's okay. I don't want to do this. It's fine. Hi. 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 You're the ones from before. We want to ride the dragons. Good. You have the honor of being the very first customers of the Dragon Tour. Now, let's see. Six people means three dragons, so... It's a special price available only today. It'll be 600 gold. Can you do this bit without Sheena? Or not? Uh, no. <laughs> it's no, not okay. possible. Remember, Colette uh, stops you because Pietro and all that. Uh, and also, it like, yeah... Ultimately, you do need to do everything that we have done. It's just the matters of when and in what order. What order? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's expensive. But it can't be helped. We have to get to the Tower of Salvation. Yeah, it's for the world regeneration. <laughs> what did you say? Are you the chosen scoop? That's right. Oh my. No, 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 no. This won't do it all. I can't possibly take money from the Chosen. Please put that money away. You haven't even taken it out yet. In that case, I have three high class dragons for you by tomorrow morning. Of course, I will not accept any money. However,. What is it? But that the area around the Tower of Salvation is dangerous, so... If you could just... I mean, my cute little dragons are... Not a problem. When we reach our destination, we'll return the dragons to you. Is that alright with everyone? I have no objections. Yeah, we'll figure out how to get back when the time comes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll climb we'll a mountain. Back. We'll walk. We'll walk back. We'll hike back. It's fine. Well, didn't someone teleport earlier in the game? Can't we do that? I understand. <laughs> well then, I shall await you all here tomorrow morning. Camp camping Finally scene time. To the last oh. seal. Let's split up for tonight. But don't go outside the village. Understood? Yup. Yup. Got it. We'll be leaving yep. in the morning. Yup. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. You want to thank me? Don't worry about it. Despite knowing what your future holds, this is all I can do for you. Who are we, we have talking to? to? to hang out? Yeah, okay. Do we only choose once? Uh, we can talk to all of them, but only one will net us some affection. We can't really talk to Colette. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm so mean. Yeah, genius oh. Rain Colette Sheena Kratos, who I'm assuming is at the Travelers or Adventurers graveyard. That's up the way. Uh, let's talk to Sheena. She seems cool. Tomorrow, Silverant will be saved. What are you gonna do? Good question. Well, the only thing I can do is believe in the Chosen. 
The chosen from this side seems to be trustworthy enough. What's that mean? Is there a chosen you can't trust? <sighs> Tete Ala's chosen. I can't stand that guy. Oh. I see. Tete Ala has a chosen too. Two worlds, two chosen. If there really is a goddess, why did she make a world like this? Yeah, no kidding. I want to kick her for doing this. Oh, I get your comment earlier. Oh, about the... About the reason why she second-guessed herself with Colette specifically? Yeah, if she, if she didn't like her, her Chosen, she thought all Chosens were like that. Yeah, and we don't even know what this guy's like. We'd know it's a guy, though. Seriously? I wish I could do that myself. That's already different. All right, now we just Maybe. can talk to anybody else. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, I got stuck on an invisible corner. Your journey. He's with the grandma. Coming to an end. I think that's actually an old man. Oh no. This isn't the end I hoped for. Really, it's the journey you started by clinging to the chosen. This was to be expected. Clinging to the chosen. Don't you remember? It was you who said we have the Chosen on our side. The savior who will regenerate the world. Yeah, that's right. I said that. And that's why I have to protect her. If relying and depending on the power of the Chosen at the most crucial time is what it means to protect her, then the meaning of the word protect must have changed significantly <laughs> from my <laughs> understanding. And now, Savage. the Chosen is trying to resolve everything by sacrificing herself. What are you trying to say? Lloyd, don't make a mistake. I don't quite get it, but I got it. Uh, hey, if I make a mistake, can't I just do it over again? <laughs> do it over. If it's something you can do over again, then feel free. Now, there's some pent up. There's like 10 things deep there with Krasos there. <laughs> yeah, he's he's playing 4D chess and yeah. Lloyd's playing checkers. <laughs> the Tower of Salvation is so close now. We've come quite a long way. Lloyd's playing punk. <laughs> yeah. It's at a time like this that I stop and think how stupid I've been. Why? Because I don't even know if the way things have turned out is good or bad. No one knows that. The ones who think they do, or the stupid ones? Oh. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You think so? Definitely. I guess you're right. You say some cool things every now and then. Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks, Lloyd. You're cool sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Lucy Colette. This is her last night. Last night? It's her last night as a human. She's Especially gonna die! Solid, right? <laughs> Can't we do anything? <laughs> you you said no, it? but this just confirms it. Right. It's because I'm a scholar that I'm fascinated by Colette as she continues to transform into an angel. You can't be serious, Professor. You think so? Now go to her. Well, aren't I going to see the others? Oh, I mean, is this the final have. one? Yeah. No, it's okay. Let's talk for a bit. You can write. The world oh. regeneration. It's almost time. I'm sorry? Why are you apologizing? This is the end, and yet I can't even speak. I know that's weird. You dork, that doesn't matter. No matter what happens to you, you're still you. Even if you become an angel, even if you become like Marble, I won't ever think you're weird. Ever. Don't say she'll be like Marble. Gosh. Anyway, I'm the one that has to apologize. I think he's just trying to reassure her that if she thinks of herself as a monster, Lloyd doesn't. Uh. Even though I promised I'd make you that gift before our journey ended, I kept thinking we still had a ways to go. 
I never even got close to finishing it. This is the biggest game ending bait I'll I've ever seen. Forever. Even after I become an angel, I'll keep on waiting. You can give it to me any time. Okay, this time I'm really going to make it, no matter how long it takes. Can I ask you one last thing? Are you sure you won't regret this? Are you sure you want to become an angel? The truth is, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I would be too. But if giving up my life as a human means that Silverant will be reborn, then it's almost like my life is spreading out to fill the entire world. When I think about it like that, I'm okay. Ah. You're strong, Colette. <sighs> the wind's pretty cold. Let's go back to the inn. Ah, uh, sorry. That's right, you can't feel it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you didn't have to bring it up. <laughs> that smile. That, that's pain, that's a pain smile. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? Oh boy. Oh no. What game did you bring me into, Z? <laughs> I brought you into the best game ever! <laughs> that was Kratos, wasn't it? Where's he going? Was it Kratos? I didn't see. <laughs> I think it was. You'll have to continue watching over Lloyd for me. <laughs> I have things I must do. In my place, I need you to. What? Look out! <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop! What? We've seen him before, haven't we? Yes, yeah, that guy. He, we saw him in Triet. He almost blew Lloyd up, but then he was like, ah, and then he left. <laughs> right as the Chosen yeah. group came in, and then we fought Boda, that guy with the big sword. Lloyd. Thank you. Yeah, he almost got exploded. <laughs> I was nothing. But who was that? I would imagine it's that assassin. He managed to get away, but I gave him an injury he'll not soon forget. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. <laughs> we have. Perhaps. Let's get back to the inn. I, oh, wait a sec. Hmm? What was Kratos saying to Noish? Just like, oh yeah, watch over, Lloyd. I'm gonna need you to do some things. I trust you. When did Crassville sleep like, like Lloyd? <laughs> I guess he's warmed up to him. Like an annoying younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd. Hmm? What is it? Don't die. Wow. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's up all of a sudden? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> he does care. Don't die. He does care. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, d don't die, you know? Just don't think too hard on that. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> just, just don't. Okay? <laughs> anyway, bye. How can he tell me not to worry after saying something like that? Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> It's even worse if you don't expect to buy. <laughs> it's the assassin's ring. What's this? Wow. There's some strange letters carved into it. Can I look at that now? No. No. Wait, I just knocked my phone off the table. Oh no! Uh, okay, we back. Okay. <laughs> it's finally time. Silence. <laughs> Hmm. A ring engraved with the initials Y and M. What does Y, y and M? What? Y, what does and y and M mean? I'm assuming it's an initial. Hmm. 
There's oh, no guarantee oh, we'll oh. return safe from the Tower of Salvation. Are you ready? Actually, no, I'm I'd done. like to save in the inverse. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Give me a oh, second. No. Are you sure the game's not ending? <laughs> well, you, the, the character you like hasn't shown up at all yet. This is true. Where Where's the intro girl with the big weapon? I want my big weapon. You character. want your giant axe girl? <laughs> yeah, I want my giant axe girl. Where is she? I'm just saying, characters with big weapons is the best archetype. There are the dragons. I've been waiting for you. Please board the dragons in pairs. I'll ride on the same dragon as the chosen. Protecting her is my job. Lloyd, who are you gonna ride with? Rain's a hundred hundred percent suspicious. Ah, is this more points? Yes. I mean we're kinda feeding into Sheena. Would it make sense to do it more? I mean it's up to you. Let, let, actually, let's go with Vane. Okay. I, I want to know if she says anything about Crassus. <laughs> I see. Alright. Dragon riding! It, it's almost time. Soon the world will be regenerated. We are doing the right thing, aren't we? Lloyd, we can only do what we can. This is the best choice, I think. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sorry, Lloyd. You didn't blabble. I can't believe this. I wanted her to gossip. Oh. Looks like they've gone in already. Let's hurry up. Oh, they they ran in. Gosh. Who do you want to be? Probably Lloyd, but who do I want to be? Be Sheena, summon the spirits or whatever. <laughs> I will bring fire. A hundred TP? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it's the overlimit spell. <laughs> yeah, but a hundred... <laughs> It better, like, win the game. It's a mystic art! Oh. 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 This is a different place. Do you see what's down there? Coffins? Am I luck? <laughs> what, what are those? They're bodies? Then those must be coffins. Ah. Why are all these dead bodies here? They may all be all the chosen that failed the world regeneration up until now. If Colette fails, she'll wind up here with them. Damn it. I'm worried about Colette. Let's hurry. Yeah. You may Wait, take so the they... reins for Genos back for a bit. <laughs> Okay, I will, yeah. So, so people can fail this? Yeah. I'm guessing if they got killed, but like, does something kill them? What? Oh. Is that Colette? That looks like Colette. And that looks like Ramiel. Hi there. Hello, you're gonna turn on us, aren't you? <laughs> now, my daughter, release the final seal. In doing so, you will complete the final sacrifice of your human existence, your heart, and your memory. I was kind of right. <laughs> By doing so of your own free will, you will become a true angel. Oh no. What? Sacrifice her heart and memory? Colette's going to forget about us? 
Colette's human life will now end, and she will be reborn as an angel. Professor Sage, what is he talking about? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I promised Colette I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> Colette will give up her life in order to regenerate the world. Becoming an right. angel means dying. That's not quite correct. The Chosen's heart will die, and her body will be offered to the goddess Martell. By offering her body, Colette will revive the goddess. This is the true nature of the world regeneration. The revival of the goddess Martell is the revival of the world itself. So her body won't die, but her identity, everything that makes her Colette, will be erased. That's kind of dying. In order to be the body of Martell when she reawakens. So she's gonna get possessed. That, that's... Lord Remiel, we have heard that a world known as Tefeala lies parallel to Silverant. That is not for you to know. You kept oh. it a secret because it is true, correct? From whom did you learn of it? Can't Crucius make both worlds peaceful? <laughs> we will still love that nothingness that's left of Colette, so it's all good? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> okay. Huh? What? 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 That is what the you sounded desires. very far away. She can lend her power to Crucius by becoming Hi. an angel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Once the goddess Martell I'm sorry, I must have led back too far. <laughs> the two worlds will surely achieve peace. Just as the Chosen wishes. <sighs> Is that true, you ask? You know why you have come here. You can't! Are you really planning to die? Colette, stop! If you sacrifice yourself, your friends who love you, and your family, and, and me, we'll all be sad. Aww. It'll be the same as sacrificing all of us. <gasps> Genus, let me go! I don't want anything to happen to her either. But what else are we supposed to do? The people of Silverun are suffering too. But... The sacrifice of one single person, the Chosen, will save the world. Are you saying that you would choose the Chosen Soul over the entire world? Now, Colette, come join your father. We'll stop Daniel, at him. Is there really no other way? Collect your daughter. Surely you don't really want her to die either. My daughter? Don't make me laugh. When I came down to play the role of guardian angel, you inferior beings just started calling me her father on your own. Where have we heard yeah. that particular phrase before? Oh no. What? He's a design. Uh oh. I merely Design. placed the Crucius Crystal upon this sacrifice, who was selected to become Martell's vessel. Colette! Lloyd, it's okay. I realized what was <clears throat> going on. Every time I met Remuel, I felt that he was not my real father. But still, for some reason, I still feel like I want to cry. Colette! If you realize what was going on, then why? She's you using tele telepathy. I'm so happy! I'll be able to say goodbye to you in the end. Colette, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. I promised I wouldn't make another mistake. But it looks like I have again. No. Thank you, Lloyd. Because of you, uh. I was able to find the courage to protect the world. Uh. <laughs> because of you, I was able to find the strength to live these 16 years to the fullest. So please. What? It looks like it's time. No. Goodbye.
Colette uh, learned judgment. Is that that I'm dead eyes? <laughs> I've done it. It's finally complete. Martell's vessel is finally complete. With this, I shall become one of the four Seraphim. Wait just a minute. What are you gonna do with Colette? He's going to take her to heaven. Bastard. You'll pay for this. Crucius, the angels, the goddess Martell. It's all a big lie, isn't it? Uh-oh. Let her go! Now! That I cannot do. For she is Martell's vessel. This is Martell's new body, which took years to complete. I have no more use for any of you. Be gone! Let's beat the oh. shit out of the sky! I have no further need <laughs> of you. Be gone. I mean, it won't be a JRPG without killing a few gods, so... <laughs> Here. Photon. Uh oh Don't get in my way. Okay. I'm gonna turn off Photon for rain. Not need to be casting any. <laughs> What is is Kratos just like not available for the fight then? Where yeah, is he? We didn't see him. He where, went on ahead with Colette, remember? Yeah, but Colette's here. So where, where is he? Somewhere. Oh no. Something's gonna come up, isn't it? Okay. I'll I'll stop asking. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, do it! Punishment. Photon. Don't kill me! 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 Oh. I will reduce you to Oh. Nice. 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 <laughs> nice. That was cool. Do that. <laughs> I can only do it once per fight. Only when no. I'm in over limit too. So. <laughs> Remodeled. <laughs> ah, genius is dead. Damn. I'm dead. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of dead. Doesn't she have this? She does, but it takes a while to cast, so we need to be protecting her. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, come on! Nice. Holy Yes! Oh, that's a lot of healing. I see it now. Yeah, pancake time! Yeah. Pancake time! Stay away. Help is on the way. Nurse. In vain, please move. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, oh I'm dead! No! <laughs> she didn't no. get any of that. <laughs> no! I'm sorry, that was bad it's timing. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible timing. Impossible. How can an angel, the ultimate being, lose to a group of humans? Colette, come back to us! I'm going to restore you back to your normal self, I promise! Colette, have you really forgotten me? You're wasting your time. Not only did she lose her memory, but she has lost the soul to listen to your words. There he is. Colette is merely Where did he appear from? Before death's door. Kratos! Where have you been? What are you saying? The Chosen desired the regeneration of the world and chose this path herself. By the summoning of the Chosen to Daris Carlon, the seal will be broken and the regeneration will be complete. Kratos, what are you talking about? It is what you wanted as well. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martell. What are you talking about? Kratos, answer me! Lord Kratos, have pity on me. Ah. Please, lend me your aid. He's in cahoots. Have you forgotten, Remio? I was once of the inferior race, a human. 
Does the ultimate being seek help from that which he despises the most? Move out of the way. Kratos, who are you? He's an evil guy. I am of Crucius, the organization that guides this world. I am one of the four Seraphim, sent forth to keep close watch over the Chosen. He's an angel too! Ah. <laughs> uh... Is What's an happening? Angel too? You deceived us. Deceived? If the Chosen merges with Martell, she will awaken and the world will be saved. Is that not what you wanted? Once her body is taken by the goddess Martell, Colette will truly die. No, she will be reborn as Martell. Damn it! You think I'm gonna let you do that? Colette is our friend! All right. You earnestly believe oh, you oh. defeat me? I'm still dead. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, um, fun fact about this. You can beat him. Oh, but you're not but supposed to. Yeah, it's, it's not necessary. He's a very difficult boss. I think there may probably be an achievement for beating him. And there is some mildly different dialogue, but... Uh. <laughs> Kratos up to inferior dealings. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I think the only audio. thing he says is like you've grown stronger than I anticipated or something like that. <laughs> no. <sighs> oh, did he get stopped? Yes, an angel right, stopped an angel that stopped an angel. Hello. Oh, hello. You. I guess not even you could bring yourself to fight against such an opponent. Lord Yggdrasil. Ah. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Another angel? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm with Sheena here. Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. <laughs> People need not introduce themselves to a dog. What did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Eugdrasio, leader of Crucius, and the Desions. Whoa! I, I, another fight. The meaning of true power. But we're all dead. <laughs> a fun fact about this one. You can't win it! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Sheena. No. <laughs> How sad. If you fight him, I think once he gets about half HP, he uses a mystic art and it just obliterates the team. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, everyone's a design. Kratos is a design. Colette's... Dunno. Angels dead. are... Are Crucius and half elves are designs, but Crucius and the designs are led by a guy named Idrasil who is an angel. And the whole the world regeneration thing was a bit of a lie. Kratos, Seems kinda. like it. Trust you have no objections. <sighs> Farewell. Then you like Kratos. Damn, the chosen has already become he's an cool. angel. <laughs> no, he's not. He can't, he, he's got to kill everyone. <laughs> with us alive. Well, that's case, not a noise. Irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. I thought Kratos was warming up to us. Hmm. Saved by the renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. He, he's like given the most mixed feelings ever. 
Well, he told Lloyd not to die, and then they fought, and we lost, but he couldn't bring himself to do the killing blow. So oh, Yggdrasil showed way. up and was like, I'm gonna do it if you won't. <laughs> yeah, but then the <laughs> renegades showed up, and they were like, you won't because you can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're finally awake. You're yeah. trying to cross the border. <laughs> Where are we? Where's Colette? <laughs> Is she still dead? He doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it. Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. But instead of a prison cell, you were on a very comfy bed. Nice. The design base? These guys aren't designs. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused too. Thank you, Gina. I'm glad I'm not the only one. About the situation as it stands now. I'm First, so lost. <laughs> cool. Me too. <laughs> Let's form a club. <laughs> When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Designs. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades and not Designs? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Designs. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Designs. All right, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Designs. So then who was that angel guy, you Drassil or whatever? And what about Kratos? Do you remember you Drassil's words? This is just pure conjecture, but Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the Designs may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait. What? How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the designs as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the design five grand cardinals said that their boss was you. Yes, he did. He did. And you said that he was the leader of Crucius and the designs when he appeared before us. If the designs and Crucius are the same, well, then what about Kratos? He obeyed you, Drassil's orders. That means... He's evil. That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's four seraphim. <laughs> I love how he says the Drassil or whatever. Like, it's a name you can get wrong in this context. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Kratos is likely a subordinate of Yggdrasil. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. So we Why he was so uptight about staying on path. Yeah. Except for that thing with Kavar. Why? Uh, there must be a reason for that then, right? Probably. Oh, says no. the person who's played this uh, game five times. <laughs> <laughs> Why was he tea posing? It's just... Just his... It's just how he stands. If hey, I'm look! Awake. It's you! He Assassin died. man! He died. Are you the renegades? Did he not die? Correct. No, Kratos just Turn injured him. Resistance dedicated to fighting oh. the, the line for his That's upper lip is, is so thick. When I first played this game, I thought it was a mustache. I, I can so say it. Really <laughs> it's mostly when he's day. talking. <laughs> Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martell in the open and operates the designs from behind the scenes. The designs are a subordinate organization within Crucius. I'm not the only one! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the Church of Martell is nothing more I, I think than it's the <laughs> like <laughs> It looks like a mustache! <laughs> I think it's definitely because there's a gap there. If the gap wasn't there, it would be a lip. Yeah. 
They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half elves too. So we went to kill Kratos because he knew that Kratos was bad. Yeah. Big brain. <laughs> yes. Some of the designs, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head a little? Uh, rude. Do they wish to revive the goddess Martell? They send oracles to those of the mana lineage and control their marriages to create chosens who become the vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. Wait. I'm impressed. Well, wait, wait a sec. Sorry, I'm, I keep asking you to pause, but it's a bit crazy. <laughs> Right now, but like they said about half elves, right? Mm-hmm. Genus and Veins are not half half are half elves, aren't they? They claim that they are elves. They say they're not half elves. elves. Not half elves. Oh, okay. The designs and Crucius seem to be made up of half elves, but some of them are angels, and some of the angels were human, according to Kratos. He was a human, but he is an angel. And Colette it was a human, and now she is an angel. But a design definitely called Genus a half-elf before, right? Yeah. But he was pretending to be a half-elf. Oh. Oh, am I getting confused then? It's a bit confusing, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. There is another world beyond Silverant that competes for mana. Tetheola. Yes. And the one who created this twisted world was Crucius's leader, Yggdrasil. Create a world? That's ridiculous. No one can do that. But that's what you believe. Maybe they did. Conversation ends here. <laughs> Wait. If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me. You're certainly not on our side. And yet, for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Wow. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel Transformation. I cannot even hope to fathom what the fuck that painting over there is supposed to be because it's so pixely, <laughs> but it looks cool. It looks like a skull, like like a uh, skull with horns on. If I had to guess, I I saw like knight's armor of some sort, but I, I can't can see explain. That too. I can't explain the bottom half if that's what it is. I. I see, like, yeah, I see the skull with horns and a castle on top. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on it. Looks like a king sitting on a throne. Yeah, it kind of does. That does also kind of look like that. That works. Yeah. But the, I, it, it's the black bit that throws me off. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Now also, we have the key to stop Martell's resurrection. Did, did he kill all the Chosens before? Is that why all the coffins are there? I think some of them failed at the final seal, but it is implied since the Renegades attacked on the day of the Oracle, pretending to be designs, that when the Chosen gets killed by designs, mm. it was actually the Renegades. Ah. We no longer need the Chosen. Oh. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? Well, what's so special about Specifically me? Specifically Lloyd. That's none of your concern. Get him! What? Remember how he has the Angelus Project <gasps> X-Sphere? Yeah. It's apparently very, very special, but we don't know the details behind why it's so... special. Special, he, yeah. This guy thinks he knows what's special about it. Lord Ewan. Also, we kicked Ewan in his injury. In his Kratos <laughs> injury. <laughs> no. It's his wound from Hyma. 
is Paima. Ugh. Kratos, how many times must you get in my way? Wound from Paima? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was? Oh, like you were. I thought that was obvious. Lloyd, what are you doing? No, Corinne! <laughs> no, Corinne! Oh my gosh. I would be scared. Oh, we're walking around Skolan! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> we were walking around as Kratos, so we'll walk around as Dead Eyed Colette. I don't it, think it, her it, status it... screen changed. Yeah, she still no, looks boo. normal here. Boo. Is, <laughs> is this. Is this. Is this like. I don't- I feel dirty doing this. What, walking around as Colette right now? Yes. Do you want to walk around as someone else? Yeah, it's like, something, something inside me just feels wrong about walking around with a dead person. <laughs> that might just be me, though. <laughs> She's dead soon to be Skelet. <laughs> Kratos has been That's deceiving what, oh. us from the very beginning. Oh wait, you're down to one person right now. Maybe you should be Dinas. I had thought there was something strange about him, but in the end, I couldn't figure it out in time. I hate myself for being so naive. Damn him! He'll pay for this, I, I swear. Lloyd. I I'll be Dinas then. Yeah, because I think I'm two you're, you're people. Four. Yeah, I'd be four. Oh, well. Colette can't talk, and Kratos is no longer here. Well, well uh, yeah. I mean, Colette talked for a little bit, but yeah. I don't know if she still has her tele telepathy powers or not. Oh no. <laughs> you dress your name. Sorry. I wonder if that Yggdrasil's guy is the leader of the Cruxes. <laughs> Yes, most likely the sleeping goddess, Martell, is a symbolic entity. While Yggdrasil actually e executes their plans. And Kratos was really one of Yggdrasil's subordinates. What is he trying to do by turning Colette into Martell? More importantly than that, I want to know why Martell requires a body to be her vessel. Ah, oh, right. In other words, that means she doesn't have a body. So, wait, if you don't have a body, all you have left is your heart. Can you still live? Colette is currently living despite having lost her heart. Perhaps the opposite is possible as well. I suppose when you put it that way. If we can find out why Martell lost her body, we might also be able to find out what the what, what Yggdrasil is trying to do. Oh my god, yeah. that was fast. <laughs> Ah, oh, we think we're good. So we've lost, like... Wait, so can Colette technically fight? Yeah, Colette is still able to fight. She just doesn't say anything. This just feels a bit wrong to me. It feels dirty. Oh, oh this man. puzzle. More, more box mm. puzzles. All right, let's go. Let's see what all is around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, the electric ball. Rush mm -hmm. or pull? Ah, wait. I know what I'm supposed to do. You have to fit them all on that platform. I didn't mean to push that that way. Ah. Let me push this one off. 
But in order to get all the extra stuff... Is there those chests up there? You gotta make another bridge. Yeah. So smart. Yes, sliding box puzzle. Yeah. I do love the sliding box puzzle. Indeed. Colette could just float across. Yeah, but Colette's not really listening to commands right now. Straw hat! Where is the straw uh, hat? Colette acts on instinct. Oh, it's an intelligence up one, so... Even with... Even Lloyd wearing the straw hat won't help him. <laughs> I'm sorry, It'll that make him mean. smarter, but... That still won't be a lot. Wow, a hole. Yeah! Oh. Right, right. Give me a sec. I'm gonna preemptively oh. do this, unless, of course, it resets them when I go down. I hope it doesn't. Are you perhaps metagaming? <laughs> Here's hoping it lets me. <laughs> <laughs> this suspicious thing that looks kind of like an elevator. Could it be? I wonder. <laughs> oh, a chair. Oh, it's not a chair. <laughs> it kind of looks like a chair. Aha! They're in the wrong oh. position! Then <laughs> <laughs> ah! <Metagame> game attempt <laughs> failed! That's what you guessed! <laughs> you tried to cheat the game. At least it did memorize where these were. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to. If it didn't, this puzzle would be impossible. <laughs> Yeah, if it reset every time you went down, then it wouldn't stay on the thing. <laughs> it just shoots electricity at the thing. <laughs> Maybe this will work. Oh. Is it safe just throwing electricity balls out of nowhere? Oh. Ah, oh, it doesn't go far enough. No. Oh, hey, I saw hey. you. Hey. What is that? I think that? you need to move the boxes, like, again. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'm Maybe wrong. Maybe move this box, but oops. didn't push it far enough. <laughs> Oh. Is there anything back here? Oh. Uh. Oh. The door is open. It didn't look like it worked, but hey. What door? Just checking to see if there was anything hidden. Oh. Oh, that door. Oh. Damn it. What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether they're our enemies or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, what are we going to do now? Oh, yeah, about random encounters. 
Oh yeah, because that's an, in hearts, it's random encounters. I hate solving puzzles when there are random encounters. It's like, ah, yes, I put this here and here and here, and then you start doing it, and then you get into a fight, and then you're like, wait, what was the solution to the puzzle? Huh? Oh, it's like, the only bad thing about random encounters in Tales of Hearts are is a, a few puzzles like this, where you have to stop and fight in the middle of solving it. Uh. So, for the sliding box puzzle, imagine if we were just pushing the cubes around, and then we got interrupted by a random encounter. A random hawk. We've got to <laughs> save Colette <Clint> somehow. <laughs> She's going to die if she's made into Martel's best. I, I mean, there was, there was that uh, fan puzzle with the designs walking around. Yeah, but that's not random encounters. Okay. It's oh, just oh, difficult you mean to like dodge. Random, them. random encounters. Yeah, like you're walking around and then uh, <laughs> like walking in the tall grass and Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so other Tales games just has random encounters and not overworld encounters. Um, it seems to be Hearts and then some of the older games, but generally speaking, no. I, every game I've played, it's there's an enemy uh, in the overworld that when you run into it, will activate. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. But what can yeah. we do? <laughs> Sheena, where did you get your X spear? Huh? Well, that came out of nowhere. I got this before I came here. They attached it to me at the Imperial Research Academy. Is it normal for people to equip x spheres in Teveala? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, x spheres are mainly attached to machines. So they have Renegades so, there too? So yeah. Oh. and the Renegades are on the same side? I'm not sure if you could say that. So, Tethel is very technologically advanced, it seems, since they're using x spheres to power machinery. We don't have x sphere powered boats, but that's more because the designs sort of monopolize the x spheres Yeah. It seems that the designs are not really a thing on Tethiala's side. But the Renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. And the plan to assassinate the Chosen was their idea. They talked the King and the Pope into it. If you desire for Tethayala to prosper, kill the Chosen of Silverant. That's horrible! Whoa. Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tethayala. Uh? Why Tethayala? Can you do that? Don't you remember what Ewan said? Well, I mean, Sheena's here! Angels are half elves that evolve yeah, using I, I, special that's, that's, I just assumed that would just be an unanswered question forever, because it just never got brought up. Colette's current condition is caused by the Crucius Crystal. Since Tethayala is studying the x spheres they may know something about Crucius Crystals as well. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius Crystal that belongs to Tethayala's Chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a Chosen in Tethayala too? Yeah. Of course. The that would make sense, yeah. The work is carried out in Tethayala as well. The Church of Martell exists too. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martell's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation were... No, never mind. I'll Maybe. finish your sentence. Maybe they weren't the people on Silveron's side who failed, but instead the people on Tethiala's side who succeeded. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. There are too many things that we don't know. If only I knew someone who played the game the five times. Mm. <laughs> if only. So let's just start with what we can do now. I'd love to ask him. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to Tetheala. <laughs> yeah, that's the only lead we have right now. So how do we get there? Magic. And this time. <laughs> I'm going to fulfill my wish. <laughs> I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait. Well, that means Big Axe Girl's gonna be on the other side. Mm, yeah! Maybe? That's yeah! Cool. <laughs> After all, we are a party of five, and four of them are from Silveront. 
Ah, so again, three more. I'm sure I see. I mean, you've seen the intro. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you can identify who's who. <laughs> Without knowing their names, of course. By passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riards are the only things that can do that. Riards. You heard it here, folks. It's Riards, not Rayards. Symphonia 2 got it wrong. It's not Rayards, it's Riards. Rayards. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. Co- Coletathala? Oh my god. <laughs> Coletathala? Coletathala? What? Huh? Ah! Okay then. Let's get going. Anyway, let's get some riards. Yeah. Yeah. That's the room we just came out of. Oh hey, it's this room! Is that, is that a good thing? You're adding way too many syllables. Coleth <laughs> Kolelethala. Look! So these are the Riards. Oh. Hurry, they'll catch up to us. Oh, it's a spaceship. It's a space ski. Alright then. Tefeola? Oh, you ride it like a bike. Yeah! Or a jet ski. Judy cutscene. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm glad they paid for the budget there. I don't know. Oh. It just suddenly... Look, the fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... We're gonna fall! Ah! Oh no. Ah! <laughs> wow, wow, genius. Kolesa Allah. Ah. Hello and welcome to Tethyala. I think we managed to avoid destroying them completely. I don't know how Genus managed to avoid destroying his completely, considering he did a spin and was about to land upside down. <laughs> <laughs> but they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. How do you guys manage to actually live in Silverant? Then magic, I assume. Perhaps think, the lightning that Think about the fossil fuels, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. You gotta use renewable energy like me Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no. Well it is kind of renewable, it just costs a human life every so often. <laughs> Genius is also an angel who is up to the feels no pain stage. Ah, yes, hence why he crash landed upside down and didn't get squished. <laughs> no, Genius. I haven't made a pact with Walt. Oh. Oh. Well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. No pact with Volt? Oh well. Oh, and here I thought Magi technology was infallible. Well, besides the massive mana consumption. <laughs> yeah. Tower of Salvation. Why is that here? This is Tefeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the Flourishing World. The tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? Two worlds. Two towers. What about the Holy Ground? The Church of Martel is also over here, correct? Is the Holy Ground called Carlon? Yes. 
The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the Holy Ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. The Holy Ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records in our museums that depict how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the Holy Ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. So it's just a parallel world? Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. So, either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Hmm. 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 That's not possible. <laughs> Don't get mad, I was just kind of saying stuff. Anyway, let's get going. It's true, we aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. <clears throat> like, genius, I don't get the chance to say this often, but you're so wrong right now, it's hilarious. There can't be two of them. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. Two worlds, two chosens, two towers, two carlons. Come on, buddy, get with the program. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's our first adventure in Tetheala. Oh no, is that gonna be two Lloyds? <laughs> Genus, this isn't a field trip. <laughs> I just got. What? I just heard an achievement beep. I Their heard elves. an achievement too. I, I gotta uh, say, that, that was quite a surprise. Indeed, you don't get the opportunity to fly through the sky very often. Or fall for me either. Can't be helped. When you break the seals in Silveron, the mana over here grows thin. Even so, it's still a lot thicker over here than in Silveron. Oh, you can tell that? Why is she so smug? Of course, because Genus and the Professor are elves. Why can elves tell that? Well... Because they're elves. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't answer the question, but okay! <laughs> uh, is there a good place to save and stop for now, or...? Um... The bottom of this mountain is probably our best bet. Okay. We'll keep going till then. Okay. Colette! Hey, Colette! Can you hear me? It looks like she can't even tell you're talking to her right now. Damn it. At a moment, facing the decision between Colette and the world, for a split second, I chose the world. Even though it's nothing but a false peace. It was unavoidable, when a single decision you make could destroy the world. Casually choosing your friend's life instead would have been a strange choice indeed. Still, yeah. at that moment, I abandoned Colette. I'm a hypocrite. Damn it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. Is it okay to stop here then? Yeah, it's totally fine. It's probably pretty late for you. I thought we would get a bit further, but... <laughs> hey, we're, we're in a while talk ah, We we're spent a while in... talking about chocolate. <laughs> yes, we are in Tethola, <laughs> at least. So that's something. <laughs> I feel like we got over the main bit anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, bi the big yeah. thing. The big thing. You know, the whole uh, second world, Colette dead, Kratos betrayed. Mm-hmm. You know. I I'm upset. He was, like, warming up to... Warming up to Lloyd. As you said, big brother. Big Brother Kratos. <laughs> Big Brother Kratos, why? <laughs> Betrayed at the last moment. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> I, I, I guess this is the second act now. Yep. A whole, a whole new world, a whole new place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, again, I, I went to exit out of a Parsec, but I clicked your Tales of Symphonia X, <laughs> apart from the Parsec X. Yeah. Very smart, but yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, we talked about things, but hey, next week we're gonna, I mean, we're in a new area, we know we've got a couple more people to meet, so, yeah. Axe and, girl, and... Axe girl. 
They won't be too fast. We'll definitely see all of them at least once, but... Uh, before they, like, join or whatever, but oh my god, I'm so excited. This is when the story starts to be, like... Because, you know, like, I always take Symphonia like this. The first part, the Silverant arc, we will call it. Yeah. Is like, it feels like your cut and dry type of like typical JRPG, like, oh, we're going to do the thing and save the world. But as you do it, you're like, this doesn't feel right. This feels kind of like icky. Like, we're doing something good, but are we? Like, all throughout. And it, yeah. you start to like get this disillusion. Like, I feel like Symphonia is intentionally designed like that, where it feels like a Final Fantasy almost type of. JRPG, where it's like, we're doing this big, amazing thing to save the world because of destiny and awe and all this other amazing things. But instead, it's like, there's there isn't quite that level of it because we're actually we're like genuinely concerned about what's going on with Colette. And it's kind of like this illusion of it being like a, an amazing journey for the greater good. And those cracks yeah. until it all completely shatters with Yggdrasil going like, yeah, this shit fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is all fake. It was no. all a lie. <laughs> oh, dear. It's actually really, playing. really neat that it's like the first part of Symphonia is set up like that. Because it, it does, like, you think about it at the time, it's like... There hadn't been a JRPG that was like that before, where it was like, are we sure that what we're doing is right? Isn't there like yeah. a different or better alternative way to do this? And like the forces in play are not good and evil. They're kind of all bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it, a, it's a bit it's a bit upsetting as well. Yeah, it, it feels a little jaded now because lots of stories have done that, but I think at the time of Symphonia's release, there hadn't been a JRPG of that length that really went into that type of, like, that moment where character A sacrifices themselves for the greater good, and instead of everybody going, like, you did it, you saved yeah. the world, they're like, no, wrong, you can't die, I care about you too much, let's find a different way where we can all be happy. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> the greater good. Okay, alright, I am getting tired now, so I'm yeah, yeah. sorry, I'm gonna you're have to go. You're good, you're good, you're <laughs> good. Uh, next week, we save the world again. Yeah, we're in Tetha Ala. The flourishing world. Let's just like switch between each world depending on how much mana they have. <laughs> then you never have to worry. I don't live, live, the, live the best of both lives. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that works. <laughs> oh. Worth a try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Nice. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me hide, buddy. Time. Hang up. Yeah. Be sure to recycle your mana. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's a good size for chat. What should we do? I don't know what to do. I don't really want to play DMC4 because I won't beat the game today. There's no way that's happening. I will play this in the meantime, though. West of Loathing. West of Loathing. That's that certainly sounds like an idea. Um, we are going to fight the Pope, his holiness, 
And then I think after that mission, we switch to being Dante for a little bit. His missions are not that long, but I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm still recording. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> uh. And then tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, goodbye, YouTube. This will be the Symphonia stream. Wah!